South Korea's daily COVID-19 tally stood at 542 on Tuesday. Health authorities review using coronavirus self-test kits, even though they are less accurate than industry standard PCR tests and specialist-administered rapid tests. This comes amid fears of a potential fourth wave of outbreaks. Kim Yeon-sung starts us off. South Korean health authorities on Tuesday announced that they're considering a plan to supply self-testing kits. The biggest feature of the self-testing kits is that the test subjects can test themselves by collecting their own sample, which reduces the complex process of having to go elsewhere to get sampled and tested. If such a plan is approved, anyone can buy a kit from a pharmacy and carry out preemptive testing. Authorities are currently going over the many factors involved, including the cost and the accuracy of the tests. This comes as the nation on Tuesday recorded 542 coronavirus cases. Domestic cases accounted for 528 of those, with many of the cases flaring up at schools and education facilities. From the cluster infection that broke out at a private education facility in Daejeon's Donggu district back in early April, a total of 97 people from three high schools and three private education facilities became infected. The government hopes the round of inoculations that started on Monday will reduce these types of cluster infections. These doses are for school nurses and workers at special education facilities and daycares. Health authorities plan to amp up inoculations further through Novavax vaccines. The vaccines could be secured as early as June, with 20 million doses ready for rollouts by the third quarter. Following the setbacks to the AstraZeneca vaccines due to safety concerns, Korea's head of vaccine procurement, Peg Young Ha, said during Tuesday's briefing that the government has no plans to roll out Novavax's vaccine until safety is completely checked by experts from Europe, Britain, and South Korea's Ministry of Food and Drug Safety. Kim Yeonsung, Arirang News.